Okay, we're going to do a video today to show how to upgrade from the standard Tiberius boiler that you've got here to the sort of ST style spoiler there, which I'll sort of offer it up to the same. You can see it comes out a bit further. Um, so it's a complete spoiler. It's, it, use, it will reuse the same brake light. Um, it will reuse the same fixings. It comes with um, the captive nuts here and the locations for the screws to go in there. It should all fit on. We haven't done this before, so we'll have a go. It's not our normal thing, um, but we're gonna we're gonna have a go. Right, let's whip out. So we've got a Torx T20. So that's one of these star drive heads. Blimey, he's had bad days, hasn't he? Let's whip this brake light out. It's got a couple of self-tapping screws here. And that's the bad boy there. Right, this is Sarah's car that works for us. So we've got to do it quickly before she notices. Right then. There we go. That's the other one out. Right, so put those to the side. Now this should just pull out straight like so. So we've got two connections here. We've got the hose which obviously goes through to this little thing here for your rear window wash. So we just gently want to give it a bit of a twist. Check it moves first and then wiggle him off. Okay, so that's where that's. And then it's one of these connectors where you've got to push this back corner to lift this front little lip and then slide him off. So that's the um, brake and washer assembly. That's that taken off. Right then, let's open the boot then. Okay. Right, now what size socket have we got here? We've had a little bit of a practice at some of this, but not the final bit. So under these little super sneaky hidden fixings, we've got two 8mm... So I need an 8mm socket to whip these off. Okay. So there we go, we've got two of those bolts there. I'm going to put those on. Okay, there's the two of those. Right. Then back with the Torx T20, we've got these two here to do. Now, we've tried this already, and you don't need to worry too much about it getting, I'll show you one of those fixings. If it's not gonna get ultra loose, you don't have to worry about it falling off quite yet. So they're like these self-tappers, these sort of big head self-tappers. So I'll leave those two there, okay. Alright, so we're going to have a three person job in a minute. We've got me and Ian on it, but we've got Kate going to come and hold the camera. And apparently, if we just give this a pull, what was the term on in there, Ian? A firm pull, did they say? Aggressive. Aggressive. Oh, that's worse than firm, isn't it? Right then. Right then. So if you get back, Kate. Right, so we're basically going to try and pull it in this direction. And we've just had a little play with this, and it, it seems that the edges get quite loose. But there's a couple of plastic clips, so how are we going to grip it in under the back one? Well, what you don't want to do is damage the paintwork here. So as we come up, we need to come up a bit, yeah? Right, we ready? One, two, three. Oh, okay, right. So let's just have a look at those connections under there. Right. Right, let's flip it. I got it. Let's have a look then. So let's have a look what these plastic fasteners are. Okay, so we've got one of these sort of push fit, twizzly. That didn't break. And we've got another one there so that's all good so if you just flip that other one up there yeah, and then we'll just compare back side to back side as it were um, yeah so we see we've got these fixings here all line up the same we've got the we, we could try and refit those do you reckon we can slide those into there we'll have a go we've got the same captive nut fittings so we'll just swap these little plastic fittings over um, check they line up and then we'll come back and show you how so to we fit swap it. these clips over so these clips just basically slide out like so you put those in slide them along now note where they go so on the outside one they don't go in this outer one they go in the sort of inboard one on the middle one they go in this side which will be on the left hand side of the car and then inboard again on the out and what notice these two round holes here uh, we're going to thread these two the electrical wire and the washer jet through those respectively okay so we're going to go up hold it away 
thread those through, make sure they're clear. And then we're lining up these little white things with the things underneath. And then just give that a push on. Right then, if one of us holds that, and I can just check we've got clearance at the back. Here we've got loads of clearance at the back. Okay, right then. Uh, let's start with the bolts first, I think. lining up okay. Seem to be. So you're reusing all your fittings. So no fittings come with the spoiler as we provide it. You've got the captive nuts in there. And one point to note is this spoiler is made from ABS plastic, not fiberglass like some inferior products on the market. Hold it, yeah, and then you've got to put the two screws. Well, just put those, just put one of those in. I think people can work out the rest of that. So they come uh, pre drilled with the holes ready to. Okay, I'd leave it there. The, people can see the rest of that. And then, there we go. That's the job. That's your uh, ST look. One for final it. little addendum at the end of the video is the brake light. So the brake light, obviously, you reuse your old brake light. It fits in. It's quite a snug little fit. It fits in there. But you need to connect your um, your electrical connection for your brake light and your hose. Now, as we look at it, we haven't given this a lot of time because we're not fitting this one on here permanently. It looks like we're going to be a little bit short, so you may have to solder in a or make a little join and add in a couple of inches. Where it's come back further, it looks like the wires are not long enough and likewise with your pipe. So it might be worth just looking for a little bit of rubber pipe extension and a little bit of wire just to extend that. And then that will all just pop back in and fit with the same screws. Um, and that's the finished job then.